when two people travel by airplane because of inexperience caused them to get lost in the ocean. Seeing that the fuel was about to run out, the girlfriend actually came up with a ridiculous idea. He proposed to add red wine to the fuel tank. He said he had seen such a link in a movie. Rather than waiting for death like this, it is better to try boldly. But the man's arm was seriously injured. It is impossible to climb to the location of the fuel tank. Complete this task. The girlfriend nodded towards the man, indicating that she could definitely do it. Then the woman grabbed the top railing of the plane with both hands. With all the strength she could muster, finally climbed to the top of the plane. She saw that the fuel tank was in front of her. But at this speed of flight, it took her a lot of effort to climb forward even a little bit. If the plane shakes at this moment, at any time, the woman could be thrown out. Finally she got to the wing position and tried to open the cap of the fuel tank. The man handed out the window with red wine in his hand. The woman could only hold the wing with one hand. The other hand held the bottle of wine. At that moment, the plane suddenly had a serious bumpy situation. Fortunately, she reacted quickly and immediately threw away the bottle of wine. This smoothly avoided a disaster. Then she took another bottle of wine. After the first lesson, this time she was very careful. Successfully filled all the red wine into the fuel tank. At this point, the oil marker needle actually rose. Just like that, they poured all the red wine into the tank. The woman planned to slowly climb back into the cabin. But in the next second her hand slipped, almost fell down. Luckily, the inertia just now, directly threw her into the cabin. So lucky to have recovered a life. The man called out excitedly to his girlfriend. The needle on the fuel gauge had risen to 20%. And at this time, the plane was flying very smoothly. There was no fuel shortage situation. Two people were very excited. If the plane could fly just a little bit more, their hope of survival will be greater. But don't be too happy yet. While the two men were still reveling in their joy, the propeller suddenly stopped. The plane slowly glided towards the sea. In a few minutes, the plane would fall into the sea and break into pieces. The two men had already guessed the seriousness of the situation. They quietly looked ahead and no one said anything. After a while, the girlfriend finally spoke up. She apologized to the man. If she hadn't gotten up late in the morning, they would not have gotten on this plane. And this would not have happened. The man did not blame her. Just looked deeply at each other. Just then, he shifted his gaze to the window. It turned out that they had found a small island in the sea. As long as they could land near the island, there was a chance of survival. The woman immediately took control of the control stick. She flew in the direction of the island. Unexpectedly, the plane fell heavily on the surface of the sea. The huge impact made both people faint. The plane slowly sank. Luckily, the girlfriend woke up in time. She found a life jacket, put it on the man's body, and so they finally arrived at the island. Just when the two of them thought they were out of danger, the woman suddenly discovered that this was not an island at all. It was just a mudflat that had leaked out after the tide had gone out. It wouldn't be long before the place was flooded by the sea again. At this point, they had to sit on the ground in despair, waiting for death to come. The story ends with the two of them drifting at sea for a long time. The man reminded his girlfriend again and again. He wanted his girlfriend to put on this life jacket. Maybe she can still have the possibility to live. But his girlfriend never gave up on him. The two people just kept drifting on the sea. Sure enough, just when they were about to lose support, there was a ship nearby. The two of them were so excited in their perseverance and efforts to finally get reborn. 